well population is a very big factor in the living standards in in the kind of uh, growth that a country can have it can on the one hand weigh the country down because of the enormous impact and and uh, the enormous inertia that a large population can impart to the country on the other hand if you have a large young population it can significantly accelerate the growth in certain senses so india and china are neck in neck and neck in terms of population china's population population growth is decelerating india's population growth is also slowing down it is right now at current currently around maintenance level or something so uh population in in my opinion as far as india is concerned some people would would term it uh, a demographic dividend i am of the opinion that if we are not careful it could end up being a demographic disaster because if you look at uh, the way our population was in 1947 it was around 300 million undivided india today today's india present day india which is not the whole of india which which it, it historically used to be today's india has a population of four times that right so you can imagine how much overcrowded the country is how much competition there is for resources for every single train ticket there are four three more people than you had earlier for everything there are multiple people who are who are competing for the same resources so it is not actually a good thing in my opinion if we had managed to maintain that population of 300 million then this country in my opinion could have been much more vibrant much more uh, dynamic much more it could have been better actually because there would be less competition for resources so the chinese have have implemented this terrible one child policy which i think is a terrible example of uh, muddle headed social engineering because right now what's happened is that china is a very strange society every single chinese person has no siblings no uncles no aunts no cousins no nephews nothing it's ridiculous that's the kind of strange society they're living in so what they've done is not very good india should not go in that direction maybe we could think of some incentives for having not more than two children or something like that but i think that uh, we need to ensure we need to be very careful about the population we cannot uh, allow it to run unchecked 1.3 1.4 1.4 billion is already too much so i think as long as our population doesn't become too old i mean if, if if you look at the breakup of the population as long as there is a reasonable amount of young people who are active at any given point in time as long as that condition is there the the growth of the nation will continue in a, in the right direction in the next few decades china's population is going to be increasingly more and more elderly so that's right. going to be a problem for china you we are already witnessing this in japan japan's population if you look at the average age it's quite it's late 40s or early 50s i believe i don't have the exact statistics right now i don't have it off the top of my head but that's the kind of uh, situation that the japanese population is in so that is kind of slowing down the country it is it is depressing the economy the growth rate growth rate is also below replacement rate so japan is uh, an example of where a country should not go china is going to go in that direction because of the decisions and the policies they implemented in the past few decades so i think india can learn from these examples and go in the right way but i think that we have to be careful about the population it can be a boon or it can be a bane as well so that's a fine line that we have to walk please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar